Hey everyone! I'm very excited about this filter right now. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I can take it off halfway through this video, but um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Carly Myers. I am the founder and coach here at Work You Love, and what I do is I help people who are no longer happy at work find their joy. I help them remedy burnout and build their dream career or business. And um, I just wanted to hop on here today to share an incredibly important tip on how to find a job that is totally in alignment with you, how to um, find the job that makes you feel the way you want to feel, um, how to find the work that makes you feel that way, how, how to you know, find a job that doesn't separate, doesn't force you to separate your personal life from your work life. And I've been talking to a, a bunch of different people lately, I've just been out in the world, and what I've come to realize over the last few years, months, um, is that an incredibly important part of a job search is that you lead with heart. And I know this sounds like really woo-woo and really like, oh yeah, Carly, if I, if I led with heart, where would that lead me, right? Um, but it's incredibly important. A lot of us, we go through our job search, we go through our careers, we, we even make our decision to spend a ridiculous amount of money on college based on strategy, based on safety, based on even fear. But we're thinking about things such as like, how am I going to make the most money? How am I going to be able to support my family? How, you know, how, 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 how? And we, so we're so focused on strategy, strategically thinking about the finances of our life, the stability of our life, that we don't think about the other really important pieces of the picture, which are fulfillment and happiness and goofiness and fun and one of the things that you've probably heard me say time and time again is determining your core desired feeling. And this is an umbrella feeling. This is a feeling that encompasses all of those little positive emotions that you want to feel in your life. Um, for instance, um, my, my core desired feeling is expansiveness. I, you know, expansiveness to me means the feeling when I'm dancing on hardwood floor in my socks or the feeling that I get when I go to the studio or the feeling that I get when I when a client of mine close uh, when a client of mine like achieves something or closes their own client or you know gets that job or has that success and a lot of us when we're talking about this strategy um, we never let this emotional side of our souls of ourselves to the table when it comes to important decision making. So if we're wondering why we end up in jobs that don't fulfill us or that bore us or that make us quite, uh, quite angry, it's because when we made that initial decision, we only allowed the strategic part of ourselves, the logical part of our, our brains at the table and we didn't allow the emotional piece. We didn't allow that part of ourselves to be part of that conversation. You know, having time flexibility, having time to spend with your family, having the ability to dress how you want, or having the ability to, you know, say horrible dad puns or be goofy at your day job might be really important for you. And that's so key when we're, you know, talking about this bigger picture. Because if you don't have those things, if you don't have the ability to be goofy and goofiness is incredibly important to your personality and to your happiness, that job is out of alignment. And so I just want, um, I want you to really think about where have in my life have I allowed this emotional piece to not be present in my decision making and where can I bring it forward and allow it to make, to allow it to guide me, whether it's in my current role um, or in another role to a fulfilling work environment, to a fulfilling job, to a fulfilling, you know, work-life balance, um, even, even though I totally think those two things are the same, work and life, uh, life is life. Um, and how can you make those subtle shifts that encompass your true essence, your true emotional state, 
um, that you are destined to feel. Um, so I hope this is helpful. And for those of you who are feeling like you're struggling, you're in a work environment that is less than exciting. It's, you know, it's beating you down. You feel stuck. You feel like um, things are things that are happening in the work environment are just not okay. Um, or you just want out. You know, the job's boring you, boring you to hell, uh, hell and back. Um, make sure that you come to my free online training on August 20th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's August 20th, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's called How to, um, now I forgot it, How to Cope with a Toxic Work Environment. So it's How to Cope with a Toxic Work Environment and Get Out. Um, so if you're feeling less than engaged at work, if you're feeling bored, if you're feeling like, holy crap, how is this stuff happening around me? How is this appropriate? Um, if you're feeling beaten down, if you're feeling um, all of these like feelings that you are not destined to feel, um, make sure you're there. Um, I only do free online trainings every once in a while. So um, there's a link in the description. You can go over there, grab your spot, and I will see you on August 20th. Okay, I love you guys.